Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. This time around, things are going to be very different. Animal Crossing is a life simulation game and a very open-ended one at that, meaning that we can do just about anything, and I'm going to be taking loads of suggestions from you guys. In fact, if you've seen my last video, I have taken some already, which we'll be seeing here in just a few minutes. But today, we begin a new life in a new town. How about we get things started? As with any journey anywhere, you get there how else but by taking a train, and in every train you always have that one guy from across the car who's staring at you, he gets up, he's smiling, he starts walking towards you, and he's going to say to you, what time is it? It is indeed that time on that date, so yes, you are correct. This watch of mine, it gets thrown off really easily, but you're not even wearing a watch, but this guy really is nuts. He's a wacko. And no matter what kind of signals you shoot these people, they always plop down right next to you, and they never take a hint. I understand these types better than anyone, because I was once that guy. I admit it. And he wants to know our name. Wonderful. I don't really feel safe giving him my name, to be honest, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he's a nice guy. My name, of course, is Emil. Oh, Emil. Well, that's a fantastically great name the most awkwardly placed compliment I've gotten in quite a while. It's cool, yeah? See, some random guy on the train thinks that I'm cool, my mom thinks that I'm cool, that's totally a prerequisite to being a cool guy. Where am I headed today? Well, this is the first time where you guys come in. I asked you guys for some town names yesterday, some nice places to live, and well, I think I've got one. But before we get to that, there were some really, really common suggestions like Chuggaville and Chugopolis, and those just kind of sound a bit generic to me. Plus, it'd be kind of awkward for me to live in a town that shares a nickname with myself, so I'm thinking of ruling those out. The second thing that I want to bring up, and this is probably the most common thing that was left in the comment section of the last video, was a bunch of unpronounceable symbols and then some text that becomes readable about halfway through saying, like, Bob is assembling an army to assassinate Google Plus or something like that. That doesn't sound like a very happy or nice place to live, so no, I'm not going to live there. But there were four town names that I read that I really, really liked. Each and every one of these are awesome. I just have reasons for not choosing three of them. First off was suggested by Agent X on YouTube and Twitter. They suggested Una, Latin for together. I like this idea, it's just that if I'm going to say it fast, I'm worried that it might come out as Uno a lot of the time. And it's me, so we're now I'm going to be talking fast a lot of the time. Second was suggested by James Ross on Facebook. He suggested Seamal. It is Latin for together and a pun on simulation. I like this pun a lot. It's just that after looking up the definition of Seamal, it more so means like together at the same time, like simultaneous. So I decided not to go with that one. Plus, I think it might not roll off the tongue too well. Still love the idea, though. A uh, third one was suggested by Astrogamer on Twitter. Amiaville, combination of amiable and vil. I like this idea a lot, it's just that it doesn't fit within the character limit. I didn't mention the character limit last time because if I liked a name enough, I would probably try to find some way to make it work. And even though I did try seeing what this name would look like without the E at the end, and again, I was kind of afraid that even then it wouldn't roll off the tongue too well, so I decided not to go with it. I do love the idea, though. Drumroll, please. With those names out of the way, what did I end up choosing as the final town name? Well... This was a name that was suggested by a lot of you, and I discarded it quite a few times, but there was a single comment that gave new reasoning behind this name that I didn't even think about before, and they alone were the ones who coerced me into choosing it. So I believe that person should get the credit. That person's name is Mikal Ahmad. And what name do they suggest? Palette. No, not like the town in Pokemon. Entirely different spelling, entirely different meaning. But what was their reasoning that coerced me into choosing this town name? I'm gonna keep it secret for just a little longer. But trust me, you'll know in due time. Hmm, pallet, yeah, okay. Don't think I've heard of it. I wonder where it is. Oh, right, map, map, map. Let's take a look along this train line. Rover's got all kinds of maps on him. And whichever map that you say it is, is really how the town is gonna be when we get there. So you might as well look through all the maps and see all the options and choose one that you like. One that has convenient building placement or is just laid out in a way that you like or anything you like that, really. And. That kind of brings me to another thing. These maps are not pre-generated at all. Every Animal Crossing town is completely different from all the others. Every single town is unique, and they all grow and change in real time. It's really impressive just how much detail goes into this. I mean, that's a very vague way of putting it. There is so much that goes on in the world of Animal Crossing that honestly, I don't even know if a month's time will be enough to cover it all. I'm just so excited, but I probably really should just wait for a moment and focus to see which map that I want the most. Let's see. I gave it a bunch of thought, and honestly, this layout looks really nice and convenient. I like the placement of the little ponds everywhere, and just the overall shape of everything. It looks really nice. So, it's gonna be this one. Heh, <laughs> I'm glad we found it. This is Pallet, is it? So, do you go to Pallet very often? 
these questions are going to determine what your character looks like when we get off the train, so all of these questions are very important for something. Um, let's see, how do I want to answer this? I haven't done any research, I plan on going over what different appearances you can get later on, but I don't really want to spoil it for now. So, let's see, I'm going to say... I'm going to say I've never been there, I'll be honest. Oh, today's your first time, that sounds like tons of fun. Um, I'm going to keep this one a secret from him. What? You're not going to tell? Hmm, now I'm even more curious. Boy, I wonder. Oh wait, I've got it, yeah. Are you perhaps moving to a new town? Um, I'll give him this one, you guessed it. What? Oh god, stop looking at me like that! Your eyes are scary! Yeah, <laughs> I got it right on my first try. Now he's laughing at me. Oh, he's scary. Well, you're moving now, a whole new life even. You must be really excited, right? I certainly hope you find happiness. He is a regular facade, and sounds like we're saved by the bell. Now arriving in Pallet, Pallet Station. Oh hey, looks like we're about to arrive in Pallet. Thanks for chatting with me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed a train ride this much. Come to think of it, I'm riding the rails an awful lot again lately. Haven't done as much traveling by train since 2002 or so. Man, that's weird. Nice subtle wink to the original Animal Crossing there. Okay, good luck, Emil. Bye-bye! Even though Rover was a little bit of a creep at first, he actually turned out to be a pretty decent guy. So, I guess giving him the benefit of the doubt was a good thing to do. So, that's the attitude I want to go into this town with. Giving things the benefit of the doubt, because pictures can only tell you so much, maps only give you a vague idea of things, and you never know what you just might find. And wow, I like my long sleeve purple cashmere thing that I got going on. Alright, now to step out into Pallet for the very first time. and see what kind of folk we're going to be meeting here. Ooh, interesting. Oh! Pango. Oh my gosh. Look who just came into town. Biscuit. I bet that's the guy. And Rocco. We can't just stand here. Let's all say hi. Okay, everyone. Here we go. Ready and... From those of us in pallets, welcome! I feel very welcome, but I can't put my finger on why. Mayor, we're so happy to have you finally here. Um... Is this the right stop? Um... Don't pretend like you don't know. Didn't you hear the conductor announcing our town name? You said you would arrive on this train, and we've all been waiting for your arrival. Uh, this is a mistake. Oh no, you can't fool me. Things are just as you said they'd be. All is well. There's no mistake. <laughs> You're a real jokester. Um, well, I did just say um, so I'll go with that. Well, let's get into this discussion at Town Hall, shall we? Here's a map palette. Ooh, we get a free map. So, this is very nice. If you look down to the bottom screen, you can actually see where everything is at all times. You can see what something is just by tapping on it. And actually, if we were to tap on this on those houses, we could see all of the creatures that are living in this town. But I don't want to do that. I would just kind of like to meet them as they come up, just to kind of keep the mystery there a little bit longer. It's just something that I like to do, and I'm sure other people do as well. So, as we're heading on over to Town Hall, uh, let's just find out what this is all about. Nice green door here, actually. In fact, uh, the train station in town hall that you can have in your town differ greatly. There are like 16 different ones of each. It's really, really nuts just how many you could possibly have to start off. So, Mayor, this is town hall will be your base of operations. Wow, made it make sound like a badass. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention, I'm on staff here too. Okay, so she is Isabel, the secretary. But if I may be frank, I see it surprises someone as young as you step off the train. I mean, our former mayor held the position for many, many years and was quite set in his ways. But you, this is fresh air, exactly the new image our town needs. You're perfect for the job. With no experience in political science or any interest in politics, of course I am. All right. Of course, we need you to get started right away on your work as mayor. Therefore, first of us complete a resident registration. A mayor really should be a resident. So what is your name? Emil, of course. And next, oh no, this is bad! I can't believe I completely forgot something so vitally important in order to register as town resident. We need your address on this form. Emil, do you have a place to live yet? There aren't any vacant houses here, but you can build one. I really should have you decide where you're going to live before I proceed. And here I made you come all the way to town hall for nothing. I apologize for being so flaky. Jeez, I knew secretaries were hard on themselves, but come on. So, on the other side of the tracks, we have Main Street and Nook's Homes, a real estate office. So, we're gonna go there and try to see if we can build ourselves a house right here in town, because we don't have one yet. We are homeless. We are the Hobo Mayor. <laughs> I wonder if that, such a thing has ever actually happened. So, turn to Main Street, so we'll need. give me a chance to stay here and work on your registration. You can find Nook's, and you need to find Nook's Homes. If you got a place to live, please come back here and let me know right away. So she's staying behind and filling out our paperwork for us. Um, I gotta say, I like having a secretary already, because I hate paperwork. I'm a regular Mike Wazowski in that regard. <laughs> so, this is it. This is the town of Pallet. It's actually very nice. I like the fall colors that we got going on, the red trees and just the way that the grass looks and everything. 
Uh, it's actually very pretty. I like it a lot. Uh, let's talk to the first resident that we see. What are you up to, Rocco? Yo, I'm Rocco, and I live a very modern life. Okay, no, not really. And what do you mean I don't remember you? Of course I remember you. Gahaha, ha, ha, it sounds too stiff to call you Maris. I'll just call you by your actual name. Emil, let's try to get along with friends and make the sound a great place to live. Now, I don't want to talk to all these animals to waste too much time, but just saying, I am really happy we got this guy. This is actually one of my childhood favorite animals as someone who's played the series for years, so I am very, very pleased about that. If it somehow has not been clear up to this point, Animal Crossing was a huge part of my childhood. One of my absolute favorite game series growing up, and I have played the series for hundreds of hours. It's always been there for me, and, well, speaking of me absolutely adoring this series, Prepare to meet one of my favorite characters in the Animal Crossing series. Some love him, some hate him. You already know how I felt because I just told you. Ah, uh, hello. Welcome, welcome. He's so awkward but awesome. Like Jake. He must be the new mayor, am I right? Isabella Town Hall told me to expect you. Do they even actually have phones here? I haven't seen one since I arrived. On behalf of the Pallet Chamber of Commerce, I am pleased to welcome you. So, Emil, you're here today because you want to build a house, yes? Very good, very good. I can build you one just about anywhere you want. Yes, I can indeed. And actually, yes, I have indeed decided where I would like my house. I saw a nice spot on the way here. Uh, the map was making me think that I might know where I want to build it, and, well, I think I confirmed the suspicions while I was on the way here. So, as we see him in his adorable awkwardness with his big sweater with his bulging belly... Ah, oh, he's so cute! I'm sorry. I love Tom Nook. He's great. <laughs> Uh, let's see, where do I want to build this? I'm thinking right about here is smack dab in the middle of everything, and... Hmm, let's see if we got plenty of room here to build a place. Uh, let's go... Hmm. Let's go right about here now. Let's move over a little bit. Just trying to be very careful about this. Alright, this is about the spot. So we'll go with this. And there's a river nearby, I like being with nature, so it is indeed the perfect spot. And after it is built, it will look like this. This is really nice that you can actually see exactly what it's going to be like. Hmm. You know, I want to look around just a teeny bit longer because I think I might know of a better spot. Ultimately, I decided to go with this, as you can see on the map. It's a little bit more south than where I was, but I like the general spot. Everything is nearby. Everything. It's like I'm turning, like, skullish or something. But it's near just about everything, and I just like the spot. It's near a river. I like just how it looks alongside the trees that are already here, and yeah, I'm going to go with this. So that didn't change much, but you always want to be extra careful when choosing where you're going to live. So it'll take some time to build the house, so for today, let's reserve the space. So, what are we going to be living in today, you might ask? That's just offensive. <laughs> Ta-da! So that, the space is officially yours. Um, including the cost of the land, materials, building costs, etc. Well, the calculation is complicated, so I can't come up with it just now. I'll tell you the total later. You know when they never tell you to you up front, it's going to be astronomical. It's never a good sign. Once taken care of other things, stop by the store again to get the bill. Oh, but I suppose it's only the place to rest your head, right? Give me just a moment. Guys, the way that you treat your mare is just plain intense. At least we have somewhere to sleep, though. And we have a mailbox made into out of cardboard. What happens when it rains? What, our mail just gets all soggy and everything? And yeah, Nook, you think it's shabby? We have a cardboard mailbox, as I was just saying. Well, okay. I, I don't mean to be rude to this guy. He is doing something pretty nice for us, all things considered. The fact that this is how we're spending our first day, I guess at least it's something. Let's head back to Town Hall. Now that we're there, we need to be living. We have to get registered as a resident, so we will talk to Isabel. And he'll work out the numbers. We'll find out our astronomical loan that we need to pay when we get back. So let's head on back over to Town Hall. I don't mean to be so rude to the residents here, I really don't. But still, just the fact that he was going to leave us with nothing but a fence before giving us a tent, I mean, that's kind of insane. Let's see what Isabel has for us. Hopefully she is done with all this paperwork. Oh, Mary Mia, welcome back. So, did you find the perfect spot to call home? It's perfect, but... Yeah, it's unsettling to know how much it's going to cost, and we're staying in a tent. Well, okay, so you're, I'm sure your mood will change once you move to your nice new home. Don't let the idea a home loan gets you. Just focus on saving enough for your first payment. At any rate, it sounds like your housing situation is settled, so let's get you registered, shall we? Well, then all I could, but there's one more thing. Our bir Oh, the birthday, okay. Well, nice guess, it actually is April 8th. April the 8th. Yup. Thank you very much. Please take this. We're getting more free stuff from our awesome secretary. I like secretaries that give me free stuff. So, town pass card. This is a bit of an ID card, like she said. 
it just says various things that you've accomplished. It's like a little profile that people can look at whenever they visit you and things like that. Uh, on top of that, it is also a bit of a universal train ticket to go to other towns. We'll be doing this a lot later. We'll have people that are coming to visit us, and we'll go visit other people, but we have completely finished moving in. That's about it. So, the last thing we'd like you to participate in is a ceremony that commemorates your arrival. Take a look at the map on the touchscreen. So, this plaza, not only is it going to be where this takes place, but this is where a lot of real-world holidays are going to take place. It's just so great how everything is in real time at Animal Crossing, and really, we have only scratched the very surface of what you can do here. It's just, there's so much to go over. I'd like you to plan a train this course, you become a great symbol for our town. I'll lead the way, so follow me. I love the symbolism that goes on here. The fact that you plant, like, a little sapling on your first day, and it grows along with you. Oh, it's so great, and whoa! This is some interesting animals, actually. Wow. I like this. So, please take the sapling. Okay, Emil. I'm gonna plant the sapling by hand by pressing A. Put your heart in it. I wasn't really too sure about everything before, but even though we're living in a tent and we have no idea what's going on, I'm sure everything's gonna be just fine. On November 18th, 2013, Emil became the mayor of Pallets.